Hello Beetle friends and hello to everybody else watching. Today I'm going to show you my recent Beetle finds. I'm going to show you a cassette tape, uh, a commemorative pack that I received from one of my viewers in the UK, and a CD, a turntable mat, and of course the vinyl records. So hope you enjoy this Beatles update video and let's begin. I'm going to start off with a cassette tape here. I'm going to show, show you this one here again. I showed this one a while back. This is the cassette copy of Paul McCartney's new album, Egypt Station. Kept in the shrink. I showed this a while back. Uh, I'm going to play this one because I've just ordered another copy off Paul McCartney's website. And it's sealed. Never ever going to open it. All right, that's that's Egypt Station on cassette. Now on to a commemor Yellow Submarine commemorative pack that I received from one of my viewers, subscribers, and friends named Martin Page in the UK. I want to say to Martin, thank you very much for offering me this this set. I appreciate that very much. Uh, I've had this set for about a month. Uh, he he mailed this out during the holiday season, and it didn't get here until about a couple weeks or so because it came from England so once again thank you Martin uh, here's the here's an envelope that this that the the postcards and the contents came in a yellow submarine 50th anniversary I took everything out here's a first thing I'm gonna show you uh, this Yell Submarine 50th Anniversary uh, commemorative pack uh, was was uh, this this was uh, given to only those who attended the special 50th anniversary screening of of the Yell Submarine film in England. This one I'm very happy to have. All right, here's the first thing I'm going to show you from this commemorative pack. A set of stickers, Yell Submarine stickers. And here's uh, the first postcard here. This one, I believe, is from the All You Need Is Love scene. Here's the second one, The Sea of Holes. Third one, and here's the notorious blue meanie. All right, that's the Yellow Submarine 50th Anniversary uh, Commemorative Postcard Pack. Hope you enjoyed seeing everything here. Uh, gonna show you uh, a turntable map which is really cool. And I want to give a special shout out to Mark P. Uh, Mark P inspired me to want to get this turntable mat. Uh, I ordered this one off Amazon, but when I ordered it off Amazon, it wasn't in stock yet. But surprisingly, a couple of days later, it was back in stock and it was shipped out, already shipped out by Amazon and it arrived here safe and sound. Here's a turntable mat with the 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 image of the the apple image here this is the the apple image that you see on the the Easter demos vinyl album and, and the cd as well uh, this was the 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 image that that was put on the the cd and the lp of the Easter demos and and was also used for the apple acetates when Apple put out the, you know, press the acetates, this, this image of the Apple was used. I really love this image here. Uh, this is uh, officially, uh, it's a deal with the Beatles and Crosley, which is really cool. Haven't put this on the turntable yet. I plan to. And I do have, I, I said I have a CD to show you, but I'm going to save that one for last. 
and I'm gonna show you the vinyl records. I I don't have that many uh, Beatles vinyl records to show you for this update. You know, don't don't worry. I'm still collecting uh, the the Beatles records, whatever Beatles records I could find. Uh, it's it's just uh, I I haven't been uh, finding a lot lately. But you know, I'm 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 still looking. You know, I haven't given up collecting the Beatles vinyl records. So I'm happy with what I have as of right now. Uh, so you know, I won't be collecting too much. Uh, but you know, I'm I'm it's not it's not over. So don't worry. I'm still gonna be buying more Beatles. You know, looking for Beatles records. So all right, I'm gonna start off with a George Harrison seven inch record. Uh, this is a posthumous one, actually. This is a a UK pressing. Uh, the first I'm going to show you is Any Road off his Brainwashed album. Back of it. And on the B side is the Grammy Award winning song for George, Marwa Blues. Best instrumental. It's on Parlophone. And Dark Horse Records. And Here's a record. It looks brilliant. I haven't played it yet. Alright, that's uh, the only 45 I'm going to show you for this Beatles update video. Now on to the vinyl albums. First one here, uh, I, I have a couple of Japanese albums and some US albums. And uh, a reissue of a classic album. So, all right, let me start off with this beauty here Meet the Beatles, one of my many upgrades of the Japanese Meet the Beatles. This is the Japanese exclusive. I'm so in love with this upgrade, it looks so beautiful. I had to take the record out because it was covering the back. So, that's the back of it. Looks almost flawless. All right, put this down and uh, let me show you the the insert that comes with it. Uh, the insert has the lyrics, and, and the lyrics are in English. All right, here's the insert. I don't know if my other copies came with this. But it has the lyrics of all 14 songs. And the record is housed in a separate inner sleeve. It wasn't put in the record. It wasn't put in the sleeve here. And I'm not going to put it in this sleeve here because I, I don't want the seams to, to be split. The record was was uh, is housed in, in this jacket here, separate jacket. And here's a record. It is in mono. Uh, it, it's on uh, red vinyl here. Japanese Everclear red vinyl. And it's a first pressing too because it has long playing right here. Uh, the second pressing doesn't have long playing. It's, it's the same thing except it doesn't have long playing on it. And here's side two. This one, this record looks beautiful as well. All right, uh, I'm gonna have I'm gonna show you uh, another Japanese record later on. Uh, I'm gonna show you uh, a couple of U.S. albums. Uh, the first of the U.S. albums, I ha I already have this in my collection, but um uh, the other copy I have in my collection, uh, a female owner wrote her full name on on that copy. I found another copy of this for a nice price. It's the mono pressing of the Beatles story. This is a first pressing, East Coast pressing. This is an album I don't care for. An album I must have in my collection is a Beatle Maniac. Here's a gatefold. And the record's in the blue inner sleeve, blue capital inner sleeve. And here's record one on the color band label. It is in mono. Side one. And then on 
on this side you got you got side four of the album and this one doesn't look like it was played at all and show you record two record two is the same thing blue inner sleeve And record two has sides two and three of the album. And I have another US album to show you. And uh, it's a stereo copy. So uh, I want to give another shout out to Matthew Street who did a, a video about this album. Uh, it's uh, something new. This is a U.S. stereo first pressing, uh, East Coast pressing. Uh, the the one that I have is a West Coast pressing, and I also have the U.K. export pressing on Parlophone. Back of it. Now this one I got off Discogs, and here's the record on Color Band label. And here's side two. Now, the reason I, I got this particular pressing, it's a Scranton, Pennsylvania pressing. Uh, the reason I got this one is because uh, this is the rare first pressing. It's the first variation. When you look on, at the songwriting credit for Come Give Me a Dina Han, uh, the, the name Nicholas is misspelled on this, cop, on, on this copy here, on this per particular pressing. It's spelled... N-I-C-H-O-L-A-S. It's supposed to be spelled without the H, which means it's supposed it's supposed to be spelled N-I-C-O-L-A-S and, and not Nicholas with the H. But um uh, the West Coast pressing I have, it does have the Nick the, the correction, the N Nicholas correct spelling on it. But this this one uh, I'm happy to have this first variation of something new. And I also have a couple mono copies with the Nicholas mis misprint. So, and uh, got another something new to show you. Uh, this one came all the way from Japan, I'm happy to say. Here it is. Japanese pressing on Apple. Doesn't have the OB, sadly. But it still looks nice without the OB. Back of it. Let me show you the gatefold. Show you the insert with the lyrics, all the songs. Actually, I got to show this side first. This is the lyrics of the, the, all the songs on side one. Side two lyrics right here. And this one has the black inner sleeve. Right here. And the record. Record on dark red vinyl. Let me take it out. Right, here's the record on dark red vinyl. A little, a little scruffy, but uh, it plays great. Still had to clean it up after it had arrived. It's on Apple. Side two. All right, that's a Japanese pressing of something new on dark red vinyl. And this next record, which will be the last one before I show you a, a big item. Uh, this is the the 50th anniversary reissue of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. This is a sealed 2 LP edition. And the reason I got this is because this is already out of print. And it's becoming scarce. It's already going for a little over $100. Uh, 
but I managed to find another copy of this for for the the same price that I bought it when this came out, which was of uh, forty dollars, I believe. So, all right, Sergeant Pepper fiftieth anniversary reissue, the two LP set. The second disc has the outtakes. All right, I'm gonna end with a surprise here, a CD find. Before I show you the CD, I want to show you this one once again. London Town, signed by Paul McCartney. I did a video showing this already. And from the same seller, I got this. Another Paul McCartney signed CD. Uh, the another, you know, technically another Paul McCartney item that you know, signed item I got from the same seller. CD copy of Abbey Road, the 2009 remaster, signed by Paul McCartney. Story of this autograph. The seller uh, went to see Paul McCartney perform a concert in Cincinnati back back in 2011 during the On the Run tour. Uh, Paul played uh, the Great American Ballpark which is a baseball stadium in Cincinnati. And after the show, uh, uh, Paul went to the airport, the private airport, to leave Cincinnati. And uh, he signed this along with other items that fans had him sign. So, got another one from the same seller. Also confirmed authentic by the seller and another Beatles expert. So, <laughs> I can't stop showing this, folks. I'm sorry. Hmm. I can even show my Ringo autograph book again. Uh, for, for those uh, who don't know, I have a Ringo signed book titled Another Day in a Life. So if you haven't watched that, watch that when you get the chance. So, all right. Okay. Uh, that wraps up this Beatles update video. Hope you enjoyed seeing everything, including uh, the Paul McCartney autograph items. And uh, uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you very much for watching and talk to you all later.